You, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to want this. Um, and that's the thing that's like really big. It's not, oh, put me in the studio and watch it. Okay, but we on live, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, listen to this. Hey, guys, how are you? I am here with a very special... Oh, hey, Shin. Patrick, what's up? So, guys, listen. London Bridges? I'm here with Deborah Antney. Oh my God, Dad, we didn't even talk about Fuck the Club Up. <laughs> we didn't even talk about Fuck the Club Up. And Waka being on the, on the song. Fuck <laughs> What did you think when you heard that song? My people will be so happy. They always say, you need to go with Nikki Life. You need to get this shit to go. What do you need? You gotta have people. You got people. Deborah, you know. excuse me, Miss Anthony. Hmm. I asked you when you heard "fuck the club up," uh, "fuck the fuck the club up." Uh, what? You know, I, you know, I thought y'all answers was crazy. Why? Because you know, every time we do songs, they fight. You know that they fighting in the club. Ah. Oh. All his records make people fight. Well, well, this was like a little, you know what I'm saying, little thing of jig. It was nobody was fighting. Do you like the song? She gonna put me on the goddamn spot, but do you know I like the deal? So you know if I didn't like something, I'd say it. So you already uh, know that. If I didn't like it, I'd say I don't like it. Wait, so do are y'all? Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing Deb's voice? They they saying hi to you too. They was hey. They stay saying hi, Miss Deb. Um, so listen, y'all. Deborah Anthony is uh, a queen, the queen. Okay. And um, you know, I wanted to let everybody know she was spending a little bit of time with me today. You know, and I just want to officially say how much I appreciate everything she's done for me. How much I love and adore her. I always have, always will. No, um, we're supposed to be fighting. Who's we supposed to be? We ain't gonna never be fighting. I know that's what uh -huh. like the people say we're fighting. So. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't. I don't be knowing the rumors, y'all. I, I be. Mm -mm. Sometimes people be cracking me up. They be arguing. They, know, I, you know, I don't clap back at people. I don't give a fuck what they say. It's like, mm -hmm. Even when I go on interviews, they be wanting me to talk about her so bad. It's like y'all so fucked <laughs> up. They so used to this shit. So, so listen, guys. Um, I just want. TJ, hello, TJ. Are you able to do my hair? Cause I, you keep on hitting on the um when I go live and saying hi. Are you able to do my hair? So listen, y'all. Um, Deb. Oh, Deb. The Pink Friday Two Gag City World Tour is happening in like about hi, Ock. Two weeks, right? Yeah. Two weeks. See, yes, ma'am. Uh, what show are you coming out to? Like, I know March twenty. If you got the ATL. So you gonna come through? Yeah, damn right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, y'all yeah, know when it's when it kinda when it kinda Miss Anthony. Yeah. Uh everybody better keep it cute. All right, so guys listen. What what questions do y'all got for Miss Dub? I still what her top three. What you gotta ask Miss Deborah Anthony? TJ told me, yes, I could. Um, what y'all want to ask her? I love you too. Um, y'all have questions for her or y'all just saying hi to her? Oh, oh. So Maya said, what was her very first impression of me? I, I don't need her to answer that, I can tell you. Her very first impression of me... Wait, what? Wait, actually, no. Because it's not the work ethic. Because that was before you saw me work on anything. What was your first impression? Make it a short answer, please. Don't, don't get them too much. <laughs> uh -uh. What was your first impression? I just thought you was really... Pr well, no. Is it the first time I seen you or the first time we got together? Because I remember mm. the first time I seen you. Remember that? We was in um, Baltimore. Oh, and no. we had to stay over. No, so not that time not because that we one. didn't because we didn't officially like meet and. No, I was yelling at them to just come on, let's go. 
we was late to get to the next show. They was like, that's Nicki Minaj. Oh, yes, I remember that. So, remember but, that? but what about the first time we actually met? What was your first impression? This is Maya. She wants to know. I don't, it wasn't even about the, the freaking music. It was that just like the little petite, little cute little thing. I just, I don't know. I wanted to protect you. I think that that's what it was at that time. Because people was acting like assholes. And, mm. and you were so tiny. <laughs> okay. But you also knew what you wanted to do. Like, once you really broke that down, it was very impressive to me of mm -hmm. how you was. And I really just wanted to protect you. Okay. Well, um, and that's what she did. Mm -hmm. And um, she, I never had, I never had had a female in my, um, in my professional life that, and hi, Lourdes. I, I was just talking to Deb about you, mm -hmm. Lourdes. Shout out to Lourdes. She's on Cowgirl on my album. But I had never had a female. <clears throat> and plus, I was I was still so new in the game, too. <clears throat> but I had only seen men, you know, be management and be label execs and be this and... Uh, what the fuck? Somebody, you on there? Look, I'm no call ID. I'm not answering that. That means that... <sighs> Somebody's probably looking at your stuff. Yeah, I want to call you with no call ID. Don't call her. But this is what we've had to listen to today with her phone. No, I cut it off. I did cut the shit off. But I forgot it's I got to be on silent. It's supposed to be on silent. But yeah. But listen. But okay, so you know what it is. I think that she... I never had met a female that was so powerful seeming and acting and wasn't scared of the men and wasn't backing down and believed in me so much um that she upped my price immediately i think my i think she doubled my price with, or tripled my price within three say, within three months don't do that they're not going to mess with me and then we went to Ohio, Nikki, they had to carry you up the back staircase like you was damn Michael Jackson. Jam. We had to take her up to Pittsburgh. That was Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people don't know that you made Waka be my um, <laughs> security. Yeah, I let her go nowhere without them. Um, yeah, it, was, it was so much jealousy. It's like hatred and jealousy at the same time. But knowing that she was a star. Like, I knew that. And that is the one thing, too, that I can say, Nikki, to your face behind your back, like, for real. But I knew you was a star. Thank I knew you, you had that it factor. Thank like, that's a, that's a definite thing. It's like, hands down. Well, hands I appreciate down. you. So, yes. So, I started the beef between Deb, Annie, and Fendi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fendi. I said what I said. Because when Fendi was trying to play ten ten ten. I went, I cried on Deb's shoulder, and I said, Deb, this is what happened, and da 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 And then, you know, everybody... Yeah, everybody hate me anyway. And then she was letting them she know, y'all not about to be doing this. And, you know, but it's all... The, the great thing is, it's all love. Um, with And we even just spoke to Fendi for a little bit on um, FaceTime. You know, like, the great thing about it is that sometimes in life, things happen. But when you know better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you yeah. still you love, and, all these people hit love and appreciate somebody, now. show them. Tell them. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing it's wrong. Not it doesn't take anything away from you to, to um, you know, show appreciation and love if somebody was there for you at a, you know, um... You know, and, and these are both two people that I would be yelling at and screaming on and all that. Because yeah, they, they would get on my fucking nerves <laughs> all the motherfucking time. She called me a lunatic. Okay. <laughs> she called me a lunatic. Okay. But, but at the end of the day, they believed in me <laughs> early on. And I will always be appreciative of them for that. Yeah. And look at how life works. Here I am putting out my, you know, Pink Friday 2. And ATL Jacob brings me this, the the fuck the club up beat, and it already had Walker's voice on it. I think it's Southside and Walker's voice on it. ATL Jacob told me, and I ended up, you know, having a song that I loved with Walker, who used to be my security guard, on my 
album, an album that means so much to me. And so I just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, life is, life is beautiful. Make the best of it. You know? Um, and, and say thank you when, when you love people and when they did something. And sometimes you don't get it right. You know, you don't always get it right. You don't always, you know, say the right things and do the right things. But when you think about it later on, do it. But with me and Deb, um, <clears throat> I will say, though, I went... Like, I, I was not fucking with um, Fendi or speaking to Fendi for a while. But with me and Deb, it's never been like that. I, I feel like I, I always know that I could call Deb anytime. And she always knows she can call me anytime. Even if it's cussing me out. Um, <laughs> but, you know, see what I'm saying? And I don't cuss her back. That's how you know. How much? No, so your ass was spoiled. You, to, your ass was spoiled. Oh, and yeah, you know the they was about. mad and they was jealous because, you, you know what I'm spoiled. saying, Dad was, like, you know, treating me like, you know, the princess. But, you know what? Dad, I love you. Spoiled. Okay? And on top of that, um, oh, so you coming to the Atlanta show? It's two Atlanta shows. Are you coming to both? We need Walker to come out. Uh, so let him know. <laughs> okay, ma'am? Are you guys okay? Oh, that's why my comments froze a little bit. So, y'all, that's what I just came on here to do and say, like, yo, this woman is somebody who, no matter what I went through, every time I called her crying and being saying, oh, no, this is what I'm saying, you know, she would be like, girl, that ain't no big deal, stop. Oh, you can't pay your rent? Oh, why is you acting like that? I got you. It's not a big deal. Um, but it was she great. Don't it was it was great for me. Like for real. Because it was, it was great. never about this music business with her. It, it was, was great for me to see a woman in That's the so music crazy. business right have huh? my back. You know, and tell me that and tell me that it wasn't nothing wrong with me. Cause so many, so many young girls or women, just because you speak up for yourself or just because you, you know, you you don't take, you know, bullshit, they tell you they that you all these, you know, that you're a bitch or you're this or you're that. But when I met her, I realized, wait a minute, there's more people out in this world like me, and they and they understand me. And she basically said, listen. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying about you. You have every right to put your foot down and stand up for yourself. That's right. That's right. You deserve it. They don't know what you went through. You deserve that shit. Okay. And I'm serious. So for the rest of my life, this woman is going to be family to me. Period. Whether I speak to her every day, whether I speak to her, you know, two, two days out of each year. Um, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Deb, you ain't got to get up, but you got to. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> and our and our boo London Hill is in here chilling. Hi she, guys. She just spit some bars, shall I told her I, what I said about your rap, London? What you just spit? That shit is a one. Oh, you see, Don't she ain't, you so Deb, you see, she ain't forget that, right? Yeah, she ain't right. never, she ain't, for, she ain't forget the critique, I, the the, con, the compliment I told her look about her. She came, but, but look how live she is now. <laughs> you said wow. Well, you know, sometimes that's needed. Listen, guys, listen to this. Oh, see you in Philly. Okay, guys, look, I'm gonna get back oh, over Philly. to VR. So, oh, Akbar said, hey. Hey, uh, to, to London. Uh, Hi, I'm going to get back over to rehearsal. But I want to say, I love you so much. I can't wait to see you on tour. All right. All right.